In the last video, we learned how to obtain a minimal set from a um, given set of pieces, right? So we are now ready to do base five addition. And the way that we are doing we are doing the base five addition is similar to how we do it in base ten. So uh, we are going to set it up vertically, and then we add the numbers vertically, and we'll obtain the answer from there. But but when we are doing it, we are going to use manipulatives to help us understand how the addition is done. So we are first, let's set up the addition. Here we have, we are going to write down the first number, 1, 2, base 5, right? So we are going to put it here, 1, 2, base 5. And then now we are going to write down the second number. And so we are going to put 2 and 2, base 5. Um, when you set this up, make sure you line up the numbers correctly so that you are not adding the, the numbers with the wrong place value. Yeah, so that's the setup. And since this is example one, we are going to do a relatively simpler one and, and this one does not require any carrying. And so in the next example, then we're going to talk about how, how to do the carrying in addition when you have way too many units and so in the carrying we are going to do the minimal sets we are going to get the minimal sets but for now let's just focus on this example um, the way that we are going to use manipulatives to do the addition is this first we are going to draw out the pieces for the first number one two base five right so let's do that uh, that means we have one long and two units right so let's put that here one long and we have two units now this one, the second number, we have what? We have two longs and two units, right? And so let's also draw that. And then two longs and two units. Now we are ready to do the addition. Um, just like base 10 addition, we are going to add from, from the right side and start moving left. And so first we are going to add the number of units. Uh, before we put any answer down here we are going to look at the manipulatives that we have here so see how many units that we have we are going to we're adding right so we are putting all the pieces together all the blocks together so we have four units in total and see that when you're adding the two and the two you're adding the number of units that you have right so two plus two you're going to get four so the answer would be four here yeah i'm just going to put down the sub square at the beginning so here we have four units just like what you would put down right and then next we are going to add the number of longs that we have so we have one long here adding um, we're adding two longs to that one long right so we have two longs added to one long so we're going to get three longs and see that we have three longs and four units and actually the those well those two are supposed to be the same right so um, are we done we're we are finished there is no other stuff that we need to do here so that's that's done for the example one. And we are going to do example two next.